Welcome to barely our show number two. We are really running slow on this. <laughs> we are definitely running slow, but we have a lot going on. Yeah. A lot. <sighs> oh, man. It, we have, we just literally got off the plane. Yeah. About an hour and a half ago. An hour and a half ago. We just got off the plane, guys. We just got back from... Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Edinburgh, Scotland. Edinburgh. That's that's how you like really, really say it. It's not Edinburgh. It's not Edinburgh. It's Edinburgh. Yeah. It's like a V <laughs> instead of a U. Yeah, it's like a V. And it's, I, I, man, beautiful. It was beautiful. Weather um, was horrible. Weather was horrible. Yeah. I think I can do the cold. Yeah. Um, But... When you do the cold and the rain and the wind, it's it's not a good combination. They actually had a tropical storm come in Saturday night with like 100 mile an hour winds. Like the trains were even closed. Yeah, for um, the trains to close. Yeah, like, because they were crazy. expecting debris on the floor, on the floor, on the uh, railroad tracks. And yeah. it was terrible. Honestly, it, 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 was, it was really it was scary. Bad. It sounded horrible. Yeah. Um, and then so we took all right, let's go ahead and rewind all of this back real quick before yeah. we get onto what's like what happened in Edinburgh. Guys, so we have a lot of things going on right now. A ton of things. I just got a job in New York City. Where where Yeah. Congratulations. In New yeah. York. New York. <laughs> in New York. I didn't mean to push that one, but okay. Yeah, um, <laughs> New York City, guys. I just got a job in New York yeah. City, um, which we'll talk a little bit more here in a little bit. Um, and we had this trip planned for Oyuki to go do some training in Scotland. That had been booked back in October. No, it, was, it was end of October, yeah. yeah. Um, originally, it was supposed to be online yeah. um, because I had a lot of crazy things going on. I was like, I'll just do it online. And then when I told Giovanni, he was like, babe, we should just go. He was like, you always seem to be a hands-on kind of person. Everybody's hands-on. And I, I, I agree. I think that everybody's a little more hands-on. It's almost like for me, it's all three. I'm very visual. Yeah. I'm very hands-on. And I kind of have like, to listen to it a few it. times. Yeah. So. And you got to see it and the questions you got to ask. So, we, 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 you know, we went to this training and... We have to get out of my studio. Yeah. We have this to, guys, this space. is going to be our second but last podcast here in this set. Yeah. yeah. So I just put it together. Now I got to take it all apart. And that's one of the things that I told him, um, you know, like with, with such a short notice of him yeah. being hired for New York. We'd previously done this, um, planned this, and of course his plans were to do other things, which he still has those plans. But today I was like, babe, we need to do another podcast. Definitely. And I kind of held him accountable. And I was like, we got to do this. Guys, I so, have, I've slept like five hours yeah, in the lag. last 48 <laughs> hours probably. Yeah. yeah. So um, like I said, and I keep saying this, we have a lot of things going on and we just wanted to Talk about how couples get through stuff like this. So this is our couples podcast that we're going to do on how are we going to deal with all these changes? I mean, we, you might see some fighting going on here in a little bit because it has like really not even been talked about. These plans and everything just happened on New Year's Eve. And New Year's that, Day. Yeah, on New Year, it was New but Year's babe, Eve when really? I got the email. No, I and and it's funny because backtracking on all of this. Yeah. Um, when we tell people, you know, you told everyone on your video that on social media, you know, I made you apply, yeah. and what that really means is that, I mean, <laughs> in the most honest and real way. Um, when Lindsay said she was looking for someone, um, I remember that I was getting ready. You were on the toilet. <laughs> we all about do it. Get, yeah, about to take a shower. You know, I was getting <laughs> yeah, ready to take a shower. Yeah, he had the water on and he was like, 
Uh, oh, I told him, I was like, babe, I was like, did you see that Lindsay posted that, um, that work, um, that she needed someone. And, and yeah. he was like, yeah, I, I just saw that. And I told him, I was like, babe, you should apply. Yeah. And what did you tell me? No. He said, no, he was no. like, he was like, no, I have my company. Like, yeah. I, I have my company to where everything is running smooth, but I mean, there's just so much to the story that I'm trying to make it sense for you guys. But I, and, and that's the thing is that I had already, you know, I told you, I was like, you know, you had decided, I think, whose, whose event did, did you say, and not because of the event, but you were just kind of like, I'm done. Like, this is it. I'm done doing events um, for sure. Back in from December. Here, from here on out, uh, you were, no, it was before that. Because it was whenever. I mean, you've kind of always said it. He's so always said it. I'm just telling he you, there's says, stories all over the place. Yeah, so he's <laughs> always said, since I've known you, you've said, at 15 years of doing events, I'm going to retire. Yeah. And at first, I would try to convince you out of it. Yeah. I would be like, babe, no, like how? But then he started, you know, saying that, you know, just even working Saturdays. Yeah. And having that commitment um, took a toll on your previous marriage. It took, it a, took toll a toll on, my, on your my life. Whole life. My it life. took a toll on your family. You know, yeah. not being invited to events anymore. Like it just toll, <laughs> it took a toll. You know, it's it unless sucks. you worked them. Yeah, it sucked that um, I no longer get invited to weddings, quinceañeras. Uh, there, there's they. My family kind of came around, and they would. Uh, my close family would invite me. Would try to pick a date that I was available for, and I really appreciate that. But I would never get invited to birthday parties, to baby showers, unless it was to work them. Yeah. And so, I would say about my. Ninth year in doing special events and working every Saturday, I went into, uh, I had, I needed some help and I went and I asked another local photographer. He had, I recorded some footage on some tapes and I could not transfer it to my computer. So I went to this other local photographer and I asked him if he could do it for me because I no longer had that, that machinery that equipment to to transfer it. So we, we were talking and I told him, man, he's like, you busy? We're like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, I'm really busy. I was like, I did my first wedding of the quinceanera I had worked. So keep in mind, you know, five, six, seven years. And he's like, no, Yuani, I've done the quinceanera of a quinceanera that I've done, like the daughter. So it's like if, you you know, you hired me to do your daughter's quinceanera and then now I'm doing your daughter's daughter's quinceanera. I mean, I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I am never, never going to do that. Never. So since then, it was in my mind and I told myself I'm going to give this 15 years because I mainly do quinceaneras. And ever since I've known you. I've always said that. That's been the end goal. It's been the end goal. And I've tried to prepare for years. Yeah. I tried to where I hired other photographers to work for me so I could, you know, my company would still run and I didn't have to work them. And I just didn't like that. Yeah. I didn't like that because I had to still deal with the problems um, because things happen. And people wanted you to work. And people wanted me to work. And at the end of the day, I still had to show, you know, myself and deal with the problems and and deal with the customers to where they were. They felt right off the bat, since I was not working the event, yeah. that it was going to go wrong. Yeah. So in their head, they already were like, something's going to go wrong. And I, and if it was a little thing that would go wrong, like it was a big deal. And sometimes, sometimes, you know, there are clients that are intimidating. And so if you don't have that confidence to take yeah. on jobs like that on such important days. And so can you imagine how, I, I mean, 
how he feels because I know how you feel now. Yeah. I, I help you with those events now. Yeah. And I know the pressure. It's big the pressure. pressure of, you know, making sure you capture every single memory, making sure that that little disc that holds that memory yeah. makes it. I mean, I swear, you guys, <laughs> I'm an over analytical person. Like I've thought about what if I get struck by a car and I have and that can happen. and what if you know and so I'm like okay then there's that and it's like oh and then it's like okay well no now I have to take all my equipment off make sure that this little thing is actually gonna make it to the place of import and then there's place of import yeah and there's technology yeah you know there's there's I mean we've we, we all deal with mechanical equipment through it and it could fail and Where it's, it's like upload incomplete, your computer crashes, it's too much work. And, and it's like the responsibility, no matter what, yeah. that you have um, is to huge. get this to the client is just a lot. You know, the, the amount it takes to upload, the, the, the just everything, you guys, it's, it's a huge process. And um, I think that I've learned that it's, you know, not just pushing a button. Oh, I, I know. wish it was. <laughs> I know that, you know, I think every, every, um, how do I say Client this? Client believes that, thinks that. I think that just in any aspect of an artistic career, people just think it looks easy because it's so fun to us because just like we you love go throw what we color. do. And, and, yeah. and then you get those clients that go to Sally's and do the box dye. Yeah, and, I mean, there's And it's like, well, you can now fix it. <laughs> yeah, there's obviously like a lot of people that, that think that it's easy and it's really not. Um, which, aside from that, like, it's cool. Like, we enjoy what we do. Yeah, for sure. But we're talking the responsibility. You yeah. said, I'm done with it. So when that came about, it was in November when, you know, I saw her post yeah. And I was like, babe, you need to apply. And again, he was in the toilet. Okay, we about keep to talking shower. About, about this she. <laughs> and then we'll, so we'll get into that little story here in a little bit on how that, you know, came about and what what we keep talking about this she and this Lindsay. So, um, it, no, so we went to her class in October. Right. We went to her class in October yeah. and we did a workshop. Um, it was, an amazing workshop. Amazing. Um, and we finally. I if you're a photographer. Yeah, we finally met her, and you know, Giovanni, the whole I, the whole entire time was like starstruck. I was starstruck because he is such a like he's such a fan girl, I'm such and a I fan literally girl. told her that because she came up to us at our little lunch break, and she was like, "How's it going?" And I could just tell Giovanni was like, what? I, "I have worked for." All kinds of artists. I mean, I've worked, I've, you know, been around like Maluma, Bad Bunny. Before um, he was Bad Bunny. Yeah, before he was Bad Bunny. Um, I I worked, went on tour for Texas for Young Dolph. Um, all Just your so local Mexican people. artists. Um, who else have I worked for? The uh, Smoke Me Out tour, J.O.P. Before even J.O.P. was like big J.O.P. from Fuerza Regida. And I was never starstruck. But and that day? That day, Giovanni got pale. And I, of course, if you know me, I'm just, I'm, I'm, my personality is out there. Yeah. I take, I take risks and I go for it. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I loved it. Like she asked about our backgrounds. And then of yeah. course I said, you know, this, this is more for fun for me. Um, I love getting to learn, but I was like, but him on the other side I was like he is such a fan of you and he's such a fangirl I was like if Lindsay says buy this you know there he goes babe I'm gonna buy this um and she was like oh my god you know she's such a humble person she's awesome uh she's amazing and so you know after watching her teach and work we were both just amazed um and definitely left a mark on us um, she works for a lot of commercial companies. Yeah. Um, and that's something that you want to get into is so, working yeah. commercial. Yeah. And so, so guys, I'm not retiring from photos. No, I think that's another misunderstanding people have is that yeah. he's not doing this anymore. The but camera will you be guys, part of my life. 
I can honestly tell you, like, he's just, his, his foot is in this door of this, like, amazing person. She has worked for so many designers. Most of you are wearing them. I mean, Kiss Lashes is one of her big, big, if you see a picture on that Kiss Lash that you buy at Walgreens, Walmart, online, she took that picture. Yeah, um, more than likely. You know, more than likely, yeah, commercial Morphe. is big Morphe before Morphe closed out. Like <laughs> she was, she's the it girl and she works in New York and she has this great, great um, following and reputation. Reputation. And so um, I was like, you know, at this point, you know, um, I told him, I was like, babe, I was like, you should apply. Yeah. And, and said, he said, hell no. hell no. He was like, no, 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 no. Why would no, they no. pick me? For, for one, I was like, I am not, I, I to myself, I was like, I'm not up to par to, you But know, that to isn't something you told me. Yeah. And so I literally, I told him, I was like, he, I was like, why not? And he was just quiet. And I, and I literally remember telling him, if anyone doesn't support your dreams, they don't belong in your future. Amen. And you were holding your phone and you were looking at me and your eyes just teared up. And, you know, I don't I've know. I've been crying a lot. Lately. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what was going through your mind at the time, but it was so amazing to me because after I told him that, he was like, you really think I should? And I was like, yes. I was like, this is an opportunity of a lifetime to put your foot in the door um, and learn more, have more knowledge, and then, you know, make it useful. And it'll make you move (laughs) to a place, a big city that you've always wanted to go to. And I was like, I mean, I just feel like, I mean, it's just... It's just an opportunity. It really is. Later on that day, I could not say no to. You worked on your resume because she was asking for a resume, (laughs) a video, um, basically stating why you wanted the job. And I broke the rules on that video, by the way. (laughs) Yeah, there was a obviously there was lots of little stipulations that she asked for. Yeah. Um, But long story short. When he applied November 29th, I think was the deadline. The, la- the, the first deadline. original deadline. The 28th, yeah. I literally, after that, I was like, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. And so leading up until then, Giovanni had these plans and I'd be like, babe, but you're going to get that job. I mean, it like to that's me, not going to well, work. I never was. And so I'd be like, you're booking this, but what's going to happen when you when you go work over there? And he the whole time would be like, we don't know that yet, babe. And I'd be like, I know that. Because believe it or not, like I've always been a fan of this man's work. Yes, he has. I am a complete fan before I was anything. Now that I'm something, like I see his work ethic, It, it you know, like you? I, <laughs> I'm a fiance. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and so I, I've just, you know, like... <sighs> It, it felt so right to do it, to say it. And leading up to it, you know, I kept asking him. Towards the end of, like, Christmas, I was like, have you heard anything from Lindsay? Have you heard anything? And he's like, on no. Vacation. No. And um, even at the beginning of the year, us driving to Ridoso, like, mm-hmm. we took our, you know, it's our anniversary Took a little vacation. I was like, babe, she hasn't messaged you. And he was like, no. No. And he was like, I don't think I'm going to get it. And I was like, I I very highly um, don't believe that. And I think that she would have announced um, already. But I was like, no, like I just still had faith. And, um, you know. So <laughs> that video, if you guys have watched it, um, that was actually us going to Ridoso. And I wanted to get away. I knew I was going to retire. We were heading to Rido, so because I did not want any connection with anybody because there is bad cell phone service up there. Mm-hmm. And we we're like literally driving on the side of the road, and I was like, hey, I got to stop. I got to stop. And she's like, what are you doing? And I was vlogging, and I was like, this is it. I, I, I was I, doing I, my makeup in the car. Yeah, she was doing her makeup <laughs> in the car, and I was like, I'm just going to get out, and I was like, I'm just going to make my video, and 
that I'm retiring from special events. And of course, I was like, right now? Yeah. Like, already? Like, what? I was like, I need to record this. I need to put it out that, you know, I'm done. Because all the bookings for 2025 were going to start coming up. So I was like, I don't want to tell. I, I had new, I didn't know what to say. Yeah. So I stopped there, side of the road, and I made my video. And I thanked, you know, all my clients from, you know, the last 14, 15 years that this was going to be my 15th and last year, 2024. And that was so hard to make, but it's crazy because it came out so naturally. Yeah. I, those were all one takes that I took because it just came out so naturally because I was ready. Yeah. Definitely ready. So you record this. Yes. And we get to our destination and we have a blast and forget about everything. Yeah. So. When skiing. We come back. skiing. (laughs) You suck. At it. That's I, do, why. I do suck. I suck at skiing um, bad. Driving back December 1st, New Year's Day. We're driving. Oh, no. No, no. no. Babe, I was on the toilet again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. I so was coming back. We, we were back. getting ready. Well, hold on. We were getting ready for New Year's Eve. Eve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To go and have dinner and go drink some beer and play this some was slots. A day after mm-hmm. um, he'd recorded his yeah. goodbye. Yeah. Um, and he, I'm literally again getting ready. And I'm in the toilet. Well, he's on the, the toilet. And his I, little and, second <laughs> office. <laughs> and I was, you know, getting ready to take a shower and everything. And I get the email. And I was like, oh, my God. He didn't say anything. He, didn't say he was anything. reading it and reading it. And of course, I'm watching him through the mirror. And um, he's just like, has this like look on his face. And I look at him and I was like, what? And he he's just still concentrated reading. And it's a long ass email. And I hate reading, by the way. Yeah, he hates email. <laughs> so it was a long email. It was a long one. And he basically, when, when you told me, you were like, babe, it's an email from Lindsay. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, what does it say? Of course I wanted to take the phone from him, but um, he was like, well, she has a few concerns. And, um, you know, just explaining. Just, I mean, she was just, you know, basically letting him know, you know, what this job entailed. Um, She let you know that out of 50 people you were chosen. Top three. Top number three, one. number one. Yeah. And uh, she just wanted to make sure that, um, you know, his aspirations. And that I could make the move because she knew. She'd previously met us. Yeah, she previously met us. She, she followed knew, us now. She followed us. She knew I had a, a a very good, successful company. My company is. We'd just gotten engaged. we just gotten engaged. Um, she knew a lot. And so she was just kind of like, all right, tell me, tell me why and what you expect from this job. And so, of because course. Because it sounds crazy. Yeah. It's so crazy. Because on my video, my video submission, um, and nobody knows this, but we were approved for, for a new house, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, we were approved. And before this, yeah, before, before leading up until my birthday in October, we were talking about um, building a home together. Yeah. And um, we, of course, like I've been through this so many times, you've been through this so many times yeah. before we even got our hopes up. We were like, all right, we've been fixing our taxes, not fixing, just kind of like doing everything, doing everything, keeping it up to date. To buy and a house. yeah, to buy a house. So we decided to get pre-approved. And we did. And you did. <laughs> and I put that in my video submission, you know, that I'm 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 not leaving that behind, but I'm willing to, you know, put that on pause to accept this job and everything. So she had a lot of concerns on, hey, are you really gonna make this move? Yeah. And so we you know, we finally both read the email. We look at each other and I was like, she, oh, you asked me, hey, so what are we doing? And I'm like, right now, we're going to take a shower. We're going to go drink beer and play slots. <laughs> we'll worry about this. Yeah, so he didn't answer until New Year's Day. We were driving back. 
and he was answering and he was just kind of like telling me what to jot down. Well, we were driving. This is funny, guys. So we were like, we're literally like leaving Redoso. It's already late. And we get in the truck. I put gas and we're driving off and then we're both quiet and then just look at each other. It was like, so what are you going to say on the email? <laughs> That's what I asked you. <laughs> so, uh, you know, yeah. we, we emailed back and we said yes and and, and everything. Um, Oyuki has been very, very supportive. Um of everything. I mean, she made me do it. I really do believe this is God's calling to to follow my dreams. And it's going to be a hard one because I will be traveling back and forth. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> back and forth to finish out. I'm going to make me cry. <laughs> to finish out all my contracts, to finish out. I'm, I'm pretty booked up. Uh, we do have about 30 events this year. Um, I have about 20 something seniors, which I usually take about 35. Um, and we're going to get everybody done and still work in New York and still do all the Hola yeah. Bonita thing. And, and <laughs> guys, it's going to be busy and still continue this podcast. Yeah. Everything's going to continue, but it has been very hard, guys. Um, which brings me, you know, that's the little story on how I got this job. Um, and we have a lot of moving to do. Then I think we, we have had, a lot of questions. We have a lot everyone's of freaking out. I, you know, I have people messaging me saying, "Don't leave," <laughs> and I have, you know, Oyuki's not leaving. Uh, guys. I'm not leaving. Um, Your hair will be fine. Yeah, and you know, like I and I tell everyone, you know, I still have a son, and he's a senior, and um, you know, I'm not willing to disrupt that in his life right now. Um, I, you know, I definitely feel like I also have um, businesses that still need me um, along with the business that I already have. Exactly. Um, we are both very supportive of each other. For sure. And I know that last year, I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, I feel like last year you dedicated a lot of your time. To helping me. Yeah. Um, Almost died twice. <laughs> and I just feel like for me, it's not, two. it's not a matter of like repayment. Um, and it shouldn't be. I know what it's like to be supportive. And I mean, you guys, we, we have like a really good relationship. Um, we work 24 hours a day, but we also understand... Um, what that means and what that works. We we make the time for each other. We make the time to understand each other because I know in a regular relationship, we've both been in one, um, where we think we have supportive people in our lives, but they're not really supportive when it comes to something that they need or want. And so I feel like we are really good about our relationship and knowing and understanding that when I tell you, hey, babe, like, hold on, I'm finishing this up. I did it right before this podcast. Yeah. Um, I posted like a video. 30 minutes. Um, yeah. I, you know, I, you know, he doesn't get offended. He doesn't get upset. Um, he does the same thing to me. You know, babe, I'm on, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm editing today. I'm on a call. I'm editing. Um, we never over ask anything of each other. And I think that's kind of come from experience and we've kind of figured out what we want and don't want in our relationships. Yeah. Um, luckily for us, we both want the same thing. Um, what do we want? I mean, I, that's not even a question. I feel like what we want is kind of based out of our dreams. For sure. And then dreaming together, being together. Um, to me, I want you to be successful in whatever you do. Yeah. And love what you do. And love what you, when, when you're doing it to be successful. And if I can help, 
I will be there to help. If you got to leave for a few days or whatever, or you got to do this, and then there's no me time, or that that's fine. I think, and then I think that we're really good about expressing our feelings and we communicating yeah. um, and letting each other know like, okay, I need attention. Yeah. Um, we, we're, we're just really good on communication. And so I think that's what's so powerful in our relationship. If you, I've always said it, if you don't have communication in, in any relationship, whether it be work, whether it be friends, whether yeah. it be relation, any relationship, if you don't have a communication establishment where two people can express feelings and agree to disagree or agree to agree, no. um, then it becomes unhealthy. And I think that uh, that's something that we've established. Um, I agree. I agree that what I want for you is what I want for myself. And that's just to follow my dreams to always love what I do, um, I encourage that to my kids. I encourage oh, that to a anyone. Jealous, by the way, oh my god, yeah, I'm. It's a good little <laughs> jealous. I don't know that there's good jealous. She, I'm not, she's bad because I beat her to the punch. What is that, babe? You know, you guys. I've gone to Fashion Week since 2020. Yeah. In 2019, I you know signed up for it and. Um, I don't know that necessarily living in New York is my dream, but definitely working out of there. I think that what I am going to work for um, here and ha what I have been working for oh. is um, to ba basically one up myself. Like I am not going to go work in New York to do what I do here. I'm going to go work in New York. To go work with celebrities, to go work for an agency, that's always been something, that's always been a dream of mine. So she's like, you're going to live in and New York. And I was York, like, I cannot. Yeah, no. <laughs> you never even wanted to go to New York. I didn't like New York at all, guys. Yes. Like, But I had never been there. He'd never been there. He's one of those. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's one Leo's of those that before house. he tries anything, <laughs> he says he doesn't like it. Yeah. And I, when he went with me to New York Fashion Week in September. I fell in love. He fell in love. Big time. Yeah. And I had been to LA. And that's where you considered yourself you would love to live. But yeah. I would tell you all the time that they were two different places. Two different places. And you would be like, no. But then Casey Neistat moved back. Casey yeah. Neistat is Giovanni's probably biggest inspiration. For sure. He and, is. And, you know, lived in New York. Then he moved to LA. And he hated it. And he hated it. In that time, though, he didn't say he hated it. He was living when in the time that we were talking about yeah. all this stuff. Um, and then, like, I think that year, last year, he moved back to New York. Yeah. And Yoani was like, guess who moved to New York? <laughs> and I was like, who? And he was like, Casey. <laughs> He's like, hmm, when should I go to New York? <laughs> and I actually went and met Casey. And... Dude. The first time I now went to New York. Now, that was the craziest thing. So that is was my inspirational point cap or whatever you want to call it, that I was like, I want to do something for myself. But you kept, in, and then what's so crazy is that um, we went to B&H, yeah. this camera store. He was going to go load up on, equipment. you know, equipment so that he could, you know, work for me and go take, you know, video of me and marketing material. And, you know, like that man was like, oh my gosh, we have the biggest, like, you know. 50 celebrity or 50 speakers 50 for their 50 speakers, year birthday. Yeah. And, you know, it's a big, you know, um, photography conference and one of the biggest we've had. We ended up having like 65 and he says, Dun, 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 dun. I was like, is Casey going to be there? And he's like... He's our number one speaker. Oh, my God. 
After that, we were like, where do we sign up? Well, I didn't want to go. Oh, oh Yoani was like, me go. yeah, Yoani was like, babe, but I have to work. Tomorrow's the first day. And I was like, you're not going to go work tomorrow. No. I said, there's more days to this fashion week. I was like, you can go after. I was like, there's just no possible way. You have to go. I went early. And <laughs> Yoani. on the third row. Literally, he beat me to the punch. You know, my call time was at like seven. Yeah. You were up at six and out of the door by seven. He walked like I was I just like, yeah. But you know, the convention center, you said that was like a mile. on your way there, you were like, I mean, yeah, I'm going to meet Casey. Yeah. And you prayed. I did. And so what happened is I sat on the third row, watched this whole thing, was amazed. And then they announced, um, that Lindsay gonna, was also supposed to be there. Lindsay was there. She was there the next day. Um, and they announced that he was, uh, they were going to do a raffle for five tickets to do like a giveaway and then meet Casey. So then that's when uh, I was like, oh, hell. I ran out of there because it was going to be downstairs, three floors down. And I prayed to God. And I told him, I was like, God, if I win this raffle... I'm going to start vlogging, start a podcast, and really follow my dreams into something that I want to do. I was like, God gave me that sign. Guys, I was the third number picked. <laughs> I was working and you called like three times and I was I had my hands in some hair and I was like, oh my gosh. He literally texted me after those phone calls. And then there was bad calls. cell phone service in yeah. there, so I wouldn't send. And so... I read it on my watch and it says, you will never guess what just happened. And then he sends me pictures that I couldn't see on my watch. And I was like, oh my God, I wanted to see those freaking text messages. So long story short, he tells me all about it. And I was just like, whoa, like you manifested that. I did. No. You literally said. I manifested it and it, it was in it the was past. All God. You would you kept saying that you were gonna meet that, that's Casey. That's all God right there. But he, he answered that was. my prayers at that moment. God. And he showed me what I needed to do. And it, has been showing me. And has been showing me. And, and that's another <laughs> thing I think we have. It's crazy. <laughs> in <sighs> our relationship is it's God. God. I yeah. think we both put him first. Yeah. You know, and I just, um, I don't feel like, I just want to go out there and say um, that I'm a godly person. For sure. Um, I make so I, many I, I mistakes and I'm a, such a, I'm a big sinner. Um, but one of the biggest things that we've wrapped this relationship around is... God's arms. For sure. And in the toughest toughest times, um, <laughs> I think that I just have to go back. I don't I don't know that we ever in this relationship just kind of established that, but there was a time, I think, that when we first started um dating that I was like so stressed out, you know, and I remember just telling you because we talk about everything and <laughs> he literally, you know, basically pat the bed and he was like, come here. He was like, let's pray. Yeah. And that for me, I was like, whoa, like I was like, what's happening here? You know, I was like, I cannot believe that I'm not the one, you know, literally wanting this, that you came, you know, out with that on your own. Like, I didn't say, hey, we need to follow God. Yeah. I didn't say anything. Like, he was just like, let's pray. Yeah. And for me, I was just like, dear Lord, like, thank you. Because this is what I wanted. You know, I don't want someone that's perfect. I just want someone that fears God. And, you know, that if you've made mistakes, that you've learned from them. I've always said that. It's 
It's so crazy. Um, and I know a lot of my clients remember this. Um, if you have been with me since my divorce, I think a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, because you know, you tell me everything and I tell you everything, (laughs) but that is one of the biggest centers of our relationship. I have not been scared this whole time. I think that I've been strong. Yeah. And how I get that like strength, I I give it to God because I I know that what's to come next is out of this world. Like I know that what's coming for you is going to blow everyone off their socks. <laughs> um because I think that including yourself, like I don't think that people know your true talent and I don't think you know how talented you are. And I think that I I just do what I love. Yeah. But this is the time to show yourself um, and show other people that you are a badass because I've known (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I've known. I knew you were going to get that job. So we do keep God close. Yeah. A lot. We pray a lot. We communicate a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and we hold back on a lot of the petty stuff. Yeah. Like, I, I just feel in a lot of relationships. Yeah. Um, that... There's just some things. It's not that important. You pick our but why? Why? Why bring it up? Yeah. You know, if you're if if, if I'm like, hey, I'm gonna edit tonight. I'm gonna be at the office late. You know, be home nine ten p.m. or eleven or twelve. Yeah. Why? Why do you need to be like, hey? Are you sure that's where you're gonna? Be? Are, no, not even that. Like. <laughs> Why do you need to edit? Like, why? Why yeah. can't you just come home? It doesn't even have to be like, why? What else are you doing? I mean, just even as small as, hey, like, why don't you just come home? Or you said you were going to be here. And you're not. A long time ago. Yeah. We're like, both why? so good about doing that. <laughs> like, I'm almost done. Three hours later for me. <laughs> Same thing for oh, you. Oh, you're still like, hey, it's because this at the salon and this came up and this came up and... And it's like, okay, there, there's no point in fighting in mm-hmm. that because I just feel that the other person will take it once, take it again. And the third or the fifth or the sixth or the tenth or the hundredth time, the other person's going to blow up. Then you're going to start problems. And that's where communication needs to always yes. come in. You address the problem when it comes because, you know, we've had problems. Yeah, we do. And, you know, there's been times where I literally tell you, we're going to talk about this. This is not the right time. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Let me cool off. And you backed off. And then when I'm ready to talk about it, you know, we talk about it. And you respect that. Yeah. Um, same thing for you. You're like, I'm, you know, I'm just not going to sit here and, you know, say things out my ass. And insult you. Let me cool off. I'll talk to you about about it For in sure. a minute. And I respect that. I'm not like, no, I want to talk about it right now. And you know, like I, I mean, there there is lines that we draw, and we respect each other's decisions. Yeah. And so, you know, I think a lot of, you know, a lot of people always say, you know, and we 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 kind of. Take it to heart, but not really because, you know, a lot of times all we ever hear is like, oh, you guys are like lovey-dovey. And, you know, like there's just so so much negativity and positivity because people see us every day and, you know, they're kind of tired of the. You're ugh, so annoying. You're so annoying. I'm, you know, oh, my God. OK, we get it. We get it. You know, it's like there's always. A, a, you know, some sort of negativity, even if it's in a positive way. Um, but we truly do have major love and respect. Yeah. Now, does the devil tempt us? All the time. All the time. 
all the time. Um, but I know that with this move, it's going to be the same. And, you know, Every we have day. God to fall back on. I we we there's just no ifs ands or buts about it. And you know like I'm not scared. Um I'm terrified of the separation anxiety. <laughs> I mean keep in mind guys, we're I mean we work a lot. Together. We're always together. We go out of town together. We work out of town together and but I'm already trying to find ways, you know, to keep busy. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just for work everybody more. that's scared about Oyuki uh, not working, get ready for her to bust her butt yeah. all year long. Yeah, she's and for all you new clients, I told clients, Aaron, my son, I was like, you're gonna be my workout partner. <laughs> He's like, I'm down. I'm like, we'll see. If, how down if, you are. if you've been wanting to get on Oyuki's schedule this year, will be the year for you. Okay. Yeah. She will definitely get you in. Yeah. I mean, I have to help, you know, while you're in New York. That's another thing. You know, financially, you have helped support a lot of my decisions and my paid my bills. You know, there's been yeah. a lot of things that you've done for me in these past few years. Um, and Guys, rent in New York is not cheap. No. Hell no. So Giovanni is getting paid. You know, to do this job or but to have this position, but we have to maintain bills here and maintain yeah. bills over there. Yeah, I mean, and he has a truck that we don't want to get rid of. Oh no, please! <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Yeah. So there's a lot of um. But I will if I have to. There's a lot of financial responsibility that I'm taking on, but you know, like got, I told got you, got me a sugar mama, y'all. <laughs> I mean, guys. What happens? Like, we're getting married now. And so for me, it's just, you know. You know, even before we were getting married, I mean, to me, I mean, I always knew, but about the getting married thing. Oh. But. Um, I know I did know, ask you that when we were driving back. I was like, what made you ask me? Because I got tired of waiting for her to ask. But. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad I, know, I don't have to hear that ever again. Um, but even last year when I was helping you, um. You know, build La Bonita number two in, in, in Odessa. I never saw it that way. And I didn't see it as, oh, you better pay me back. No. No. Not at all. Or, oh, here's my turn. Or my day will come. My day's here, by the way, guys. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's no, my, like on a serious, I mean, I serious know that note. you didn't obviously do this so that you could have your turn. But I think that in a relationship, like, that's something that you have to do. And you have be to be supportive of your, of your partner in whatever they want to do, not whatever you think that they want to do. Because I have, I mean, women that sit in my chair all day long, and I hear the venting, and I have heard the venting for the past 20 years. I've vented myself. A lot of you know my problems um, I'm a very personable person. Yeah. I obviously tell you what I want you to know. Um, not in a way of like, I keep things from you, but I'm also, you know, sometimes people think they know me a little more than, than, you know, they really do. But, um, for a lot of you, I mean, you know, that there's, there's lots of things that can happen. And when I hear somebody complaining about, oh, you know, this person's got to go, you know, this place or that place, um, you know, and they're like, oh, hell no, he's not going to go over there. And oh, hell no, there's, you know, so oh, many not? women. And and then it becomes a convenience, yeah. you know, to support someone and be like, well, he goes over there. So go work I all that you want all night long. But hell no, you're not going to go out to eat with this person or you're going to go do what? Like, and then it's just like. Wait, but you want him to do all the other stuff? Yeah. Like, this is all part of work. Um, I get it. I think that there are a lot of reasons for a marriage to not have that trust. Yeah. Um, but I think if you communicate, or I know, if you communicate, you shouldn't have any any of those issues. Yeah. I mean, to me, I have no issue. I have no worry that if I'm leaving 
for I'm gonna go party. E- yeah. And if you want to go party, go right ahead. I mean, shit, get it out of your system if that's what it is, if that's what you want to do. But communicate with that other person. Yeah, I mean, Because I think, if that person does want to go party, that's who you're with. And is that what you really want? And if, if that's what you really want. So, I, I mean, I think that's something you've never taken from me. I know that you've always, you know... Hey, babe, you know, if you want to have a girl's night, hey, babe. I'm not jealous. He's not a jealous person <laughs> at all, and he encourages I'll take all it. the booty pics of you if you want. <laughs> Communication. Yeah. Communication. Communication. Support. Real support. Real support. Not convenient support. Yeah. No que te convenga because... You make a lot of your, money. Or because it'll be your turn after either. Yeah, or sometimes there's a there's the revengeful, like, oh, I let him do this, he's gonna have to let me um do that. Or just having that, you know, revengeful attitude, you know, where people just feel the need to pay each other back. Um, That's the worst. It is. I mean, I was in a relationship like that. <laughs> um <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean And, you know, like, I think that we've all made mistakes in our relationships. I can't necessarily say it was just, you know, sometimes when you have somebody that's toxic, you know, you become that way, too. It's almost like you you are what you eat. That's a whole nother podcast, girl. Yeah. (laughs) That's a whole nother podcast. But, you know, one of the ways that I'm dealing with this is just kind of being helpful. Yeah. I mean, this morning... I, we finally found an apartment. We did. We were literally going to take off and do an Airbnb and then find an apartment there. But um, we've kind of decided that Airbnbs just kind of suck. That's a whole nother podcast. <laughs> it is a whole nother podcast. Uh, yeah. Airbnb is like out of the picture for us. Yeah. So we're not doing that. <sighs> And um, we finally found something. But, you know, this morning um, he was sleeping. I was up at five in the morning and I just finally started helping him because I hadn't been able to. But I started looking at all these places. I wrote it in my notes. And by the time he woke up at 10 a.m., I sent him a message with those shared notes. And I was like, look, babe, you know, and, you know. There, there was multiple options, and of course, he's the one living in it. So I was like, "What do you think about this? And what do you think about that?" I was going the cheap route, but Ayuki was like, "Oh hell no! If I'm going <laughs> over there, that's my house too. So we're gonna go do yeah. something this, or pick that, or I want this, or I want to be by over here." So that what was? Oh, yeah, the, I think the you thing. you decided you wanted to be around. The work Your place, area. Yeah, yeah, the place of because work. Because, guys, I'm leaving my truck here, and I have to walk to work. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to invest in a bike. Yeah. Any recommendations on a bike? <laughs> so, Holler I mean, your boy. <laughs> just being supportive. Yeah. I mean, man, like, I, I've i always said, like, I don't consider myself jealous. Have I had my jealous moments? I think so. Have you? Well, you say you're not jealous, but yeah, you've had a few jealous moments. Nope. I can count with my hands. <laughs> um, but, you know, like I, you know, I'm very happy that, you know, when you're not guilty of something, like that's one thing that you've done, you know, yeah. like in the past when I wasn't helping him or showing him that I could be a helper, um, you know, he's always worked with a ton of women. That's um, Ass out. 90, 90% of my clientele boobs out you know like even when we were going to new york fashion week i warned you and i was like babe these girls are gonna have their boobs out ass out like you're it's new no york they fashion literally week. change like a car wash in there yeah. it's like a yeah. drive through they go in there and do this and then everybody changes them yeah the, when that happened to me the first time i was you know they actually let me record you know in in backstage because we were backstage and oyuki's like hey uh just Watch out. I yeah. was like, huh? Yeah. That, that was my, re- like, I was just like, huh? Then I start recording, getting this, and then in the background, you have this, you know, model changing, and guys and girls. Yeah. Guys and girls. Um, You know, it, it's, it's you know, it's their job, and Oyuki was just like, bro, just watch out. Yeah. Careful where you record. I kept saying, and- oh, my gosh, Giovanni's having uh, a show of his life, because all the yeah. other girls would be like, 
not all of them, but everybody be like, uh uh-uh, uh, like, shoot, you better not look. And no, like, I, I got more in trouble we have by a everybody sense else. of the, professionalism that we both respect each other's yeah. jobs. Jobs. You know, and I know, I mean, you work with some of the most beautiful women. My clients are awesome. Yeah. I mean, um, there's a lot of things that I feel like I've helped with um, in your career, especially yes. with you taking pictures, because Giovanni would not dare to go over to a client and say, hey, let me fix your bra or hey, you know, as with me, I'm like, girl, pick up that, you know, it's, you're showing your fupa or, <laughs> you know, the bra, you're, you're, you're a little happy or, you know, like I, I help it out. And of course, for me, it sounds normal we women talk to each other that way but imagine a man is telling you this you're like wait a minute he's being weird yeah he, that's all he's staring at and so all he's looking at is like shit i can't fix that <laughs> how <laughs> that do i has tell happened him? a lot of my photo shoots that i could not say hey you know we need to fix this or need to <laughs> fix that or that's popping out too much or i don't think it's yeah. supposed to go that way <laughs> or you know it's happened um, a lot. <laughs> yeah, so he's, you know, definitely been a big a big help. Ooh, jet oh, wow. lag is like just settling in. Them. Yeah. Um, so just being supportive in 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 the supportive way where it benefits the person you're supporting and not you, you know. Um That's the moral of the story. Pretty much. Like I I mean, I think that, you know, I, I I'm not asking. ready. I'm not ready. I go through my, I think I try to tell you, try not to tell you how much I'm going to miss you because I feel like. Uh (laughs) We don't have an all, but we can do an applause. Because I know that, I mean, you told me the other day, you were like, babe, I'm going to miss you and I'm probably going to (laughs) cry. And I was like, yeah. (laughs) Um, I try because I know how hard it is. I think we were both. It's going to be hard. I literally called you the day that I was booking our flight. Yeah. I was like, babe, oh, I literally booked- bought you a one-way ticket and me a round trip. I've never done that. <laughs> and you were like crying. laughing, but I was deep down, I was crying. I cried before I called you. And I was like, oh, my gosh, you know, like, this is it. This is happening. Yeah. You know, before we were going to go to Scotland, I told you, I was like, babe, I know that we planned this. And I was like, I, if you can't go, I was like, I understand. I get it. But we made it to Scotland. We made it to Scotland. <laughs> and then you provide um, a one-way ticket for you, honey. Guys, that's the moral of the story. You know, it's communication. If you feel your partner is just doing lacking. something because they want to do that something, that's your partner. <laughs> Accept it or move on. Yeah. If you're if if you're the partner that wants to go and he wants to party and be by himself. Do you want to be in that relationship? But then Do I too, want to be in that relationship? Like, you know, that, I that's- think as women, I think mm-hmm. if you're a woman and you're watching or listening to this podcast, I want to challenge you if you're a single woman, because of course a lot of you married women are fucked. <laughs> bleep, hey. bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you are a single woman, I think that, you know, you have to know what you want. And if you don't know what you want, then you need to go find yourself. You need to go see what it is that you want to do in your life, what you want, what your expectations are. And then when you do find someone that you want to share your life with, that those things are talked about. Because I remember, I mean, in the beginning of our relationship, there was a lot of things we talked about. Um, Boyfriend and girlfriend time. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of people skip the dating part. Nowadays. Nowadays. Everybody feels entitled to, oh, I'm talking to that guy. He's mine. 
But I mean, when we started dating and, and talking again, I literally told you, I was like, go out, go do everything, you know, because I feel like that's what lacks here in West Texas. Like people don't date. Um, they skip that part. And I feel like that's when you get to know, because if you have multiple people that you, that you're getting to know and you always go back to that one, like, I feel like that helps you single that that out like oh I like this about this person mm-hmm. I don't like that about that person um but what happens is that you know a lot of times people become too intimate right away and that's what sucks you know dating and should jump be right into it yeah dating should be getting to know each other and it's okay to talk to different people um and get to know them but it's not okay here in West Texas I feel like bigger cities do this but you but- gotta know what you want You've got to find yourself. You've got to yeah. find what you want. And then setting those boundaries. And, like, And you will find that partner. You will. Because you won't give the time of day to anyone that doesn't fit your needs. And um, I, So you're saying be a little selfish? I, I do. Yeah. I say be a little selfish. Um, Sometimes go looking beyond the looks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cause that shit, you know, sometimes will get you in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Yeah. Um, but you know, like being selfish because nobody is gonna care for you the way you care for you. Yeah. And so, if you teach someone to care for you the way you want to be cared for, then then it's an easy way to continue that. You know. But yeah. if you set those boundaries, and then you're you're lying to this person basically saying like hey uh you know i like this and you know, i like this and i like this and then finally some things you, you know don't like a little more serious and then you're like actually i don't like that yeah. learn to walk away from things that you don't like just because she's pretty just because he's cute yeah or like- just because you're deep in a relationship that you're like oh, you know like i barely this or i barely that like that's what going out is yeah you know and um i you know like i think that's one of the things that we in the beginning we set those standards and i think i pretty much set them high you i mean you talked about what you liked and didn't like and for me there was just no in between it was like this is what i want and that's okay if you don't want that but no. you know i just i love what i'm doing i love what i do and you've respected that ever since. And so that's what it has allowed us to grow um, in each other's lives. And, you know, we will continue to do so. I can't wait to see where you are in these next few months and Aiden, what you're doing. Aiden Ramenudo in a fucking uh, <laughs> New York apartment by myself. He said, he was like, I don't care <laughs> if I have to go and sleep in, you know, the smallest apartment. And no a bed. mattress. Yeah. I was like, there's no way I'm going to allow that to happen. There's no way. She's like, I'm going to be coming over. I'm not sleeping that on, is a, not on a why. blow up mattress. Can you so imagine? in the morning, you wake up half on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, can you imagine? Like, I would not be able to sleep at night. Like, there's no way I'm going to allow that to happen. But, you know, we did find an apartment. Yeah. I'm very, very happy about it. Um, and, you know, next Friday. Next Friday, guys. We're out. Fuck. Yeah. February the 2nd. So I'm excited to see everything that's going to happen. Again, to my clients, thank you guys so much for an amazing, my special events clients, an amazing, an amazing 15 years. It is a new era for me. It is a new era for us. And I think we're going to continue like these little couple podcasts. Yeah. I really enjoy them. And I hope you guys do too. We're still planning a wedding. We're still planning a wedding. Just in case you're wondering. Um, I think we kind of chose September next year. Also. But. Oyuki is now um, active on YouTube. Yes, I am. On YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Yes. She's all I'm active on there. everywhere and I'm trying to be um, because I've had so many people request um, for me to come back on YouTube and also yeah. show my um, wedding planning process. So you will be able to see Oyuki's side of the wedding process. You can follow me here on YouTube. 
Uh, on all socials, Instagram, TikTok, all of that, Yoani underscore Mess Lab is where you can find me. Yeah. Uh, follow my journey. Yeah. My version, Oyuki's version. Because Pretty we got to cool. move into New York. We got And if you coming. guys have topics that you guys want us to um, hit, put them in the comments. For sure. I mean, we there's a lot. I feel like we we talk about Giovanni has like useless facts all the time that he, <laughs> you know, he's such a great person to talk to. For sure. But um, but of course, more will come. We thank you so much for watching. Thank you. guys. And I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Comment, like, subscribe. Giovanni Meslab. Is that still a thing? Giovanni Meslab o Yuki L'Artista on all socials. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. There it is. I, I, I definitely got to change this song. You like it? <laughs> Thank you to everybody. Good night. Good night.